What is up guys and welcome back to another episode. I just want to go ahead and tell you guys that this is some older footage that I had. Um, you guys may remember, uh, I talked about it in the previous video, I told you guys that I had gone out to my lease and I had gone just to check a trail camera and whenever I, walk, whenever I drove up I happened to run upon some hogs. I filmed that entire hunt, uh, recovery and all, with my phone and then I couldn't figure out how to get the footage from my phone to my laptop. It wouldn't import. Um, I couldn't edit the video because for whatever strange reason, whatever, I don't know. But uh, I got to playing around with the footage the other day again because I've had it on my phone forever and I figured out how to make the footage work and how to get it off my phone. And I don't know what the deal was. Uh, for whatever reason, those videos were messed up or something. I, I'm not sure because I use my phone for footage all the time. And so you guys know, well actually you may not know, um, <laughs> I use my phone quite a bit in certain situations. Um, you know, sometimes if I'm not able to have this camera or one of my other cameras up and going in time, then I'll just pull out my phone. So I've had this video on my phone for a couple of months and you can tell that it's several months old because it is now June 22nd. And this was from, like I said, about February or March, somewhere around in there. You can tell because I was wearing a jacket, so it was kind of cold that day. Anyways, um, I'm glad that I finally figured out how to get the footage to do what I wanted it to. Um, I tried air dropping it to my computer. I tried all that stuff. Um, I tried importing it with a cord. And I mean, I just, I did everything that I could to get the footage onto my laptop. And for some reason it wouldn't work until now. One other thing that I wanted to mention is I wanted to apologize for the shaky footage again. I mean, I have, all I had was my phone and so now whenever I find myself in these kinds of situations, I will have a tripod. I will always have a camera with me. So um, if I do get myself in another situation like this where I'm walking up to a feeder, I will have this camera or any other camera to capture the moment and I'll have a tripod. So you guys will be able to see everything and it will be super crystal clear and way better uh, quality. So with all that being said, I hope you guys enjoy this episode. Uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And if you have hit the subscribe button, be sure to hit that little bell. Uh, do me a huge favor and share this video. It really helps me out a lot. Hit that thumbs up. And uh, if you guys enjoyed it, of course, you know, I love talking to you guys. Drop a comment down below. Uh, I love chatting back and forth with you guys. Talking, hunting, fishing, blah, 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 all of that. So go ahead and drop a comment down there. But I had a lot of fun with this hunt, and I'm going to let you guys enjoy it. Buddy, 1022 with a little red dot gets it done. That's what I'm talking about. I just rewatched that footage and the stupid camera was low. Dang it. I was trying to get it right in there for you guys. I snuck up on this group of hogs. Man, you guys gotta check this out. I smoked her right in the head with a 22. Right in the ear hole. Another spotted hog down. Right there is my truck. And I got in the woods right over here. And I stalked all the way in to somewhere right about up in there. And there was a clear shooting lane that came all the way down through here. And I could see the feeder perfectly. It was standing like right over in here. And if you look down this way... You can see them right there from my truck. 
So what I did is I saw the flash of one's tail and it kind of moved back off to the right. So I threw my truck in park and killed it real quick. And then I texted James and I said, hey, are there any hogs at the feeder? Because his, his trail camera right there, it sends pictures to him automatically as soon as he's getting them. And so uh, I didn't get a reply back. And I, I was like, man, I, I know that I just saw a hog. So what I did is I where my truck is right there I went further out into the field and then I was able to uh, see them at this angle looking back in because I was further out that way and I could see them looking in so I was like you know what the wind was blowing right at my back and then whenever I decided to come stalk them it ended up shifting and being back in my face the whole way down here so I was like well sweet you know what? maybe I can get up close to close enough to him that I can get a shot shot was about 25 or 30 yards and I want to show you guys this. So y'all can see the further that I get over this way that there's a hole all the way back up in there. I was kind of standing where that old blind is. And I'm standing back up in the trail and I can see them all the way through here, through this way, all the way to the feeder. So what I did is I, I snuck all the way up on this thing and I held, like I held the gun up in the air with the phone, both hands forever, like, probably a good five or six minutes I have to go back and look at the videos and see how long they were but I held up like this forever and I check like every 30 seconds to make sure that I wasn't gonna fall down and these hogs be out of frame but I did it <clears throat> I freaking dropped my arm like I didn't want to do but I'm still gonna post it because I I want you guys to see this it was so cool I didn't even I didn't even mean to come in here and shoot a hog i just meant to come in here and, and check some cameras but um heck yeah that's awesome that's the the first hog that i've ever shot with this little 1022 of mine i held and held and held and held forever because you guys can see all this brush right here i didn't want to take a shot with this 22 and shoot through that brush and so I waited and I waited and I waited and another thing is because it's a 22 I didn't want to shoot it right square in the middle of the forehead because their skulls are much thicker and harder on the front so I was like you know I gotta wait I gotta wait I gotta wait for it to turn broadside so I can shoot it right in the ear and man she turned broadside and I, I was planning on shooting a bigger sow but I saw the spotted one and you guys know me <laughs> so I shot the little spotted one and she was one of the ones that was being spooky the uh, last time I had this group in. I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna wait on them. Uh, you know, I'll take you to the one, but I really wanted to shoot the spotted one because she seemed to be the most educated. And I'm gonna check the top of her back because this might have been the one that I shot and grazed the top of with my bow back. didn't expect there to be any hogs here at all and it's like 5 30 right now um, James has been keeping this trail camera running and uh, he said the hogs have been there it's been real sporadic though they've been coming in and out and, and it's like all times of the night and they've mixed up their pattern a bunch after I shot that last one with a bow but that was a separate group this is two sows and all their little piglets and uh, so that's what I'm talking about. They wouldn't hold still. They wouldn't hold still. My arms are getting so tired that I just started to ease down. So I apologize for that, guys. But um, that one was cool. That one was really cool. It was kind of unexpected. And uh, I want to share it with you guys just because stuff like that happens whenever you go out into the woods. And it's really kind of cool. And so, uh, I, you know, I've got another spotted sow on the ground. At least I think that's what she is. Yeah, she's a sow. But that was that was way too cool. It's so much fun to, to stalk them like that. And uh, I love it. I love it so much. Another thing that I wanted to mention is, so my, my big yellow lab, you guys know um, Remington, he was in the bed of my truck the whole time. And every time I'll get away from my truck, like I, if he's in the bed and I walk away from it, he starts whining really bad and he wants to get out. So the whole time I'm stalking up here, I can hear him whining 
and making all kinds of noise, running back and forth in the bed, trying to see me and watch me and see where I'm going. And then <laughs> he's he's running over stuff in the in the bed, and making noise, and I'm like, man, I should really really hope that they don't bust me. All right, guys, let's take a look at her. Make sure she's good and done. And the first thing I notice is a big old scar on her back. So I guess that is her, the one that I scraped out in the field. Wow, that's too cool. I finally got to finish off the one that I started. <laughs> I figured that was her. Wow, look at that huge scar. But I want to inspect the shot real quick. Get it rolled over. Yep, that's about right. Right in there. Right where I wanted it. She kind of stinks. That one was literally right in the ear hole. Right where it needs to go. She's such a cool colored hog. It's all right, you can go with me. We're gonna go check out the hog. Alrighty folks, so that's kind of where I had stopped filming at that point. I had filmed um, after that, after I loaded that hog up, I took it back to my house, I put it up on my Skinner in the driveway, and I went ahead and cleaned that hog for a, uh, a co-worker of mine. And so I will, I, I filmed all of it, of course, and I, I posted it, it's, it's been a while back. And so you guys can, check out that video i will leave it linked below um, it's me skinning the hog kind of talking about my method how i do it and i'll also have a video over me skinning a whitetail so if you guys would like to see that video as well i will link it in the description box and you guys can check it out um, i also wanted to mention my instagram if you guys want to follow me on instagram i'll have that link down below as well i've got some fun stuff coming up me and guts chicken strips are going to try to do some coyote hunting he just bought a new call and it is stinking awesome so we're gonna hopefully put that thing to use to put some coyotes down and i've also got some other stuff in the works and some cool videos coming up that i hope you guys are excited about i'm going to be uh, collaborating with a couple of other channels here pretty soon some guys that uh, y'all haven't seen in a while and we're gonna do some hogging and it's gonna be stinking awesome it's gonna be a lot of fun i'm very excited for it and I am ready to bring you guys along. But with all that being said, this is where I'm gonna end it. I appreciate each and every one of you. You guys are absolutely amazing. I love y'all, and I'll catch you on the next one.